Hi there, Coach Sage Candy of SageRunning.com here with a quick training talk on uh, whether or not how much weight training you should have in your distance running program and kind of my thoughts on that. Uh, coming from the philosophy of a more serious distance runner trying to maximize potential at long distance events, whether it's a 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, or ultra marathon. And uh, yeah, I could get some flack for this. You could feel free to comment in below. But the key really to run better as a distance runner and to run faster as a distance runner usually means you just have to run more. Uh, the caveat behind that, of course, is you can't get injured. And a lot of you are gonna be limited uh, by your work schedule, your family schedule, how much time you have to actually train. So uh, the general rule of thumb, it's you know gonna depend on your injury resistance, talent and ability to handle mileage, as well as your time flexibility. And I realize a lot of you are limited with that. But uh, you know, someone who runs 50K a week, 30 miles a week, and spends three hours in the gym doing a bunch of weights three times a week, is probably not going to be able to maximize their potential as much as an equal talent person who runs 50 to 60 miles a week or 80 to 100k a week maybe only goes to the gym uh, two times a week for 30 minutes a piece for some extra strength training uh, that second runner is probably going to be a lot faster and realize their potential a lot more consistently in a long distance event like a marathon and we see a lot of gains even with easy paced low intensity higher mileage uh, you know getting your mileage up from 30 or 40 miles a week to eventually getting up to 50 or 60 miles a week or 100K a week, you start to realize a lot of gains there. Uh, and to do it, you need to start running slower, but running more regularly and running longer, building that aerobic base. Because that's really the most specific thing you could do for distance running. And yeah, you have to have good form. And yeah, you, you can't get injured. A lot of people will get injured. Uh, it's, it's part of the sport. It's a tough thing. And you know, some, some gym exercises and weight room training could help address muscle imbalances and improve your form, but it's not this magic bullet. Uh, there really are no shortcuts in long-term consistent distance running success, except for pure hard work. I mean, there are performance enhancing drugs and PEDs, but you're just cheating yourself <laughs> if you're taking those. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of people think, you know, oh, you know, I do these squats and deadlifts in the weight room and it's just going to make me my stride length so much longer and I'm just going to be able to go so much faster. Well, you might be able to sprint a little faster and it, it can increase your stride length, but distance running is not just about power uh, in terms of muscular force or your vertical or your squat or your, you know, explosive power. It's about sustained effort and for most people uh, especially if you haven't been running super high mileage week like over 100 miles a week or 160 kilometers a week like I have uh, it really comes down to having an aerobic system as efficient aerobic system that's heart and lungs and uh, blood flow and uh, you know mitochondria things in the cells of your body metabolism that could handle uh, running at a more steady pace without getting too out of breath and being able to to not uh, develop too much lactate or to shuttle away that lactate at least and not develop uh, fatigue, uh, muscle cramps even in a long distance race, trying to run at a faster, more sustainable pace. So what you really need is stamina. And it, you know, something my coach in uh, college, Robert Rojo Johnson of Letzern.com always used to preach, you know, distance running is, uh, we train like marathon runners basically. We were training 800 meter runners, 1500 meter runners, milers, 5K, 10K runners. We would train like marathon runners because we needed that extra strength. And actually, when I ran a marathon in college, uh, I was able to PR and everything from the 800 meters up to the 10K in track and have my best cross country season ever, uh, partly because I had such a good aerobic base from all that marathon training. So the name of the game is really stamina. Uh, if you you know want to look good and you want to be ripped and uh, do CrossFit and, and be in the gym, uh, that's great. I'm all in. Uh, this whole channel is for athlete empowerment and, and getting people healthy. And I think that's really the most important thing is being healthy and happy. Uh, but, you know, I could go to the weight room three or four times a week, lift a bunch, probably gain 15 pounds of muscle, uh, run 60 miles a week or 100K a week, lower my mileage, uh, and, and look good and be fit. But it's probably going to slow me down. I'm going to be a slower runner if I do that. And I don't want to do that because obviously I'm in, in the game of maximizing my potential in long distance races. And whether or not that's your uh, goal, that, you know, that's your own choice. Uh, but you definitely, if you know, if you want to be healthy, you don't want to run 100 miles a week or 160K a week. If you want to be healthy uh, and have a good muscle tone, then you probably do want to lift uh, quite a bit. But you know, at the same extent, you're going to be sacrificing time that you could be spending running. And that's the real key takeaway there is, you know, if you're only running three days a week, you're lifting a lot, 
you're not maximizing your potential potential so much at distance running uh, and you know you could finish a marathon and there's stories of talented runners that finish marathons of course on 20 miles a week training three days a week and some of them do pretty well if you're pretty talented you could run a pretty fast marathon uh, but it's it's not maximizing your potential so if you're more interested in doing that or qualifying for Boston or cracking three hours something like that generally we need we see athletes that need to get up to at least 50 or 60 miles a week and not only have that get at the volume but also train smart and train with specific periodized workouts or speed workouts tempo workouts long run workouts having a mix in elements in training uh, to be able to maximize their potential at that volume and it takes years it takes years of dedication uh, even decades and as I said in my running economy video efficiency video you get more efficient as time goes on so uh, you know it's it's like investing it's like putting money in the in the stock market or money in the bank uh, investing for your future but again got to stay healthy can't get hurt uh, marathon running 26 miles 42k on pavements very painful uh, a lot of people it's you know it's not a healthy thing to actually race a marathon the training's healthy it's great mentally it's great physically it's great socially uh, it's a great goal but you know running ultra marathons marathons pretty unhealthy uh, really do beat you up so you know half marathon 10k distance is a great aerobic stimulus probably a more healthy distance but you do what you love and you know I do what I love and everything in moderation so you could stay healthy stay in the game train consistently but if you want to maximize your potential in distance running, you have to run more. It's not just high intensity intervals. It's not just weight room training and explosive stuff. That could certainly get you very fit, uh, very fast, depending on what your baseline's at. But for long term continued development and consistency, you're going to need to keep going back to that aerobic base. And that comes with volume. That comes from maybe running only three or four times a week to eventually working up to running five or six times a week and lengthening your long run and slowly increasing your mileage or volume. In a progressive manner uh, so you could get these aerobic benefits in your cardiovascular system as well as the specific leg strength and endurance and the stamina to be able to run a faster pace for longer distances thanks so much for subscribing on here uh, click like if you like these types of videos comment below future training talk topics and how your training is going what you think about this uh, you can check out our website sagering.com for more training plans uh, 5k 10k all the way up to ultra marathons 100 miles as well as uh, subscribe and uh, thanks so much guys stay tuned for more